Hey, what's up guys? So today we are here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley, Southern Highlands, just located west of the 15. And we got my special girl here, Kaudi Nagao. Uh, you guys seen her past videos. I will have that in the link in the description below. As you know, I love strong women and strong women comes with multiple business. And where are we at today? We're here at Ola Cocina Cucina here in Southern Highlands. Nice, so I tried to say it so many times, so I'm gonna try it again <laughs> one more time just for the viewers because I keep messing it up. We had to do about 58,000 <laughs> takes. It is Ola Cancina Cantina. Did I say it right? Maybe close? Maybe let me close. Let me know in the comments below <laughs> if I destroyed it. I do apologize, but I tried. Yes. So, um, obviously this is modern Mexican food, modern right? Mexican food, yes. So, I wanna go inside, let's take a look around. And yes. you said something about it's like happy hour or something like that, right? It is happy hour right now from three o'clock. We open daily at three. Okay. We have two happy hours actually. Really? One from three to five, and then one from nine to close. Nice. So we have two happy hours, and we obviously love to cater all of our, you mm -hmm. know, the Las Vegas workers that don't have the regular nine to five. Cool. work schedule. So where are we at here? We're in the corner of what? Uh, cactus? Yes, we're off of Cactus and Decatur. Okay. So right off of the 15 Cactus Freeway mm -hmm. and we're here in the master plan community of Southern Highlands. So it's very, very easy to get to. So let's go inside and yes. uh, let's see what it's all about. That'd be great. Cool. Come on in. So I'm actually here with Chef Tyler, all right, and uh, tell us about the type of food here. All what right. makes it so unique and special? So what makes it so unique is that we've taken traditional ingredients, we've kept the same techniques and the same process and all, but we've kind of flipped it on its head to make it more modern mm -hmm. with different flavors, um, different combinations, right. using those same rooted Mexican traditional um, recipes. And it's created this cuisine that's quite different than anything else you can see out here in Las Vegas. Wow, that sounds pretty tasty. Chef, I want your best cream of the crop. Can you do okay. that for us today? Oh, I can definitely bring it for you. All right. Matter of right. fact, can we actually go in the back and see how this is prepped? Oh, yeah. We can totally take you back there and I'll show you around the kitchen. All right. All right. So what's going on here, Chef? So here, this is where we're taking, uh, this is where our prep takes place here at Ola. Okay. Um, this is uh, Chef Danny here. He's preparing our so lobster Chef dishes. How's it going, guys? He is uh, preparing our lobster dish uh, for tonight. Okay. Um, we'll actually be preparing for one of those uh, for you tonight. This oh, is one nice. of our newest dishes that just rolled out about a month ago. Oh, wow. But this is where all the magic happens. These guys come in 8 a.m. in the morning and they start hustling, getting all the onions cut doing fresh guacamole for the night, okay. cutting onions for the fajitas. This is this is where it, all the heavy weight comes down in here in okay. this area. Yep. So, so what is next? Next, uh, we're gonna go over here. Okay. So this is our line. You wanna walk us down here? Yeah, we can walk right down on here. Okay. Yep. So this here is our pantry station where all of our fresh guacamole, our uh, tahini vegetables, our ceviches are all built here on this station right here. Yeah. Um, we're also making all of our desserts on this station, our deep fried sundae, uh, our churros, our flans, all prepared on this station. This station right here is where our fajitas come out uh, and our nachos and our lotes off the cob. Um, this is getting more into your appetizers and of course the fajitas being yeah. like one of our main uh, dishes here. Um, we have a chicken stock that's rolling. Um, smells really good, folks. Yeah, everything's made from scratch here. So, you know, we're not cutting corners. We're not yeah. opening cans on anything. Um, we, uh, we've been cooking this probably now for about six hours now. We use uh, chicken feet and, mm -hmm. and it's Wait. super flavorful. Did you just say chicken feet? I did say chicken feet. That's, that's is that really the traditional. Ingredient? That, is, that is a secret ingredient to a lot nice. of different things. But, I mean, there's a lot more things that make this traditional kitchen a little bit more modern. And, yeah. and, and so. I'm not going to show you all my secrets, but why would you? Chicken huh? feet, though, at home, that's what you need to be using. All right, pull them up. All right, so right pull here. some of this up. There we go. Look at that. Six hours in there. 
beautiful chicken pe feet. Then over here is our grill. Okay. This is our carne asada cooker. All of our carne asada comes through here, our grilled shrimp, grilled mahi, all done over here, all done the same day. So everything's gonna be super fresh. Our carne asada has been marinating. We give it at least two days to marinate fully. Um, and then we grill it off to order every time you guys come in and order. And then, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Oh yeah. I'm about to tear this up, guys. Plancha, which is like the heart of all Mexican kitchens. Okay. This is where all of our tortillas are being made, our tacos, quesadillas. Mm -hmm. All that stuff is being prepared over here. This is the build station for all that. Okay. So all fresh ingredients made prepared when order. And then we got our salsas, our chickens, and our, our, our chicken and our pork, and our sides over here. So this is our cilantro rice made from scratch every day. And then this is our fideo, which we serve with crema. Okay. It's a little bit, this is our more modern side of things where traditionally with fideo soup, like it's, it's more of a soup, but this is kind of like, more like a pasta dish. Yeah. And we've just taken, you know, the noodles and the flavors and concentrate it and we serve it with a little drizzle of crema. And it's a great bite to have on the side. And then our beans, our black beans, really delicious. They're all vegan as well. No pork products, no chicken products. Nice. Um, it's just pure technique. Um, some traditional ingredients that are that are found, you know, in different black bean situate uh, recipes in Mexico. Really flavorful. And how often do you come up with like new dishes? And where's that inspiration coming from? Well, that's it's a family thing. Okay. And and you know, uh, my father who has uh, run the company. You know, we have other restaurants as well. Um, you know, being his son, he, he helped me, he guided me through culinary school. Okay. Um, and so everything's kind of like, you know, we, we go out to eat a lot, we find inspiration, we go home together, the whole family, I'm, I'm the oldest of five, and we'll play in the kitchen together, we'll create dishes, and then, you know, okay, let's roll it out. And, and one of our examples here is this dish right here. Yeah. This is a condiment for our new steak dish and our okay. new lobster dish. It is corn espuma. So it's a sweet cream corn whipped cream type thing it's it's really flavorful oh that sounds good i'll actually have you take a live shot right here oh, oh here wow. we go my man so it's this foam take a look at this get it get it tight on this rudy there we go and shake it up really nice mm -hmm. and it's nice and foamy and almost like a whipped cream okay right here and uh just taste this right here this is really good we serve this with our mole new york prime steak and our lobster dude really good this is bomb you can really taste that corn it's flavor super corn flavor but man it's really good oh yeah i like that yeah thank you but yeah i mean you know in, in playing with the ingredients that we have here you know using chilies yeah. corn beef tomatoes onions like having a great understanding of like those flavors and mm -hmm. so like that that elevates corn which is you know everywhere in, in Mexican cuisine so mm -hmm. having an understanding of that and, and and how to use it and manipulate it in a more modern sense is, is you know all the fun here working here at this restaurant I'd be interested in putting a dish together let's see what you got here yeah let's uh, let's put a dish together okay um, let's do Jorge can you do a carne asada fajita I know it's a little bit tight in here guys but we got to squeeze in chef can I get a fajita board from you all right so first we're gonna start off with a carne asada okay so this is the carne asada that we grilled off this morning. And this was marinated for what, for two days you this said? This was marinated okay. for two days. Give it a little spray, get a nice sear, put it on the grill. That's a pretty big chunk too. So what's the next step here? What's going on? So, and this is way before, you know, right as we're setting up, we have these hot cast iron skillets right okay. here. So we're heating these up, they get about like 800 degrees mm -hmm. until that, that black cast iron kind of gets this nice like smoky gray look. Get some veggies going. Yep. So we have our pepper blend here with red, yellow, and green. And is this just for color? Yep, for the color pop and the contrast here. Okay. And then we got some onions here. Okay. And then because we have different fajitas, there's there's the uh, shrimp, there's uh, mahi, there's chicken, uh, carne asada. We have these different spice blends that yeah. we tailor to each flavor profile. So. We have a nice smoky one for the carne asada that has uh, roasted chilies in there. This one is for our chicken that has uh, some herbs dried up in there. And then this is our chili lime seasoning for our shrimp and our nice. fish. So they all have their own unique flavors. You're not gonna just have a flat fajita on everything. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be tailored specifically to the dish. A little bit of oil. So why are you putting the oil in here? 
The oil, the water and the oil are gonna help create a lot of steam okay. when we get to throw it on there. So our carne asada has beautiful grill marks right here, as you can see. Okay. So you wanna sear it on both sides? Is that what you're yep, doing right now? Yep, sear on both sides. So that's going. Now we're gonna pull this cast iron. See how hot that's getting? Yeah. You see that how they were dark before mm -hmm. and then they get this kind of like ashy gray there. Okay. It's gonna be perfect. I love how they got this little tray right here. Right so here our boards were all custom made. Okay. Um, and set up for us. And, and then the different accoutrements that we have here, we have our crema, our guacamole, house made, and our Ola cheese blend, and pico de gallo. And what makes all these unique is that we've taken flavors like our pico, traditionally just being onion, cilantro, yeah. um, and some serranos in there. Uh, we've added a little bit of jicama for some crispness and a fresh oh, wow. bite in there. So you, you get that kind of vegetal burst of flavor there. And then our cheese blend is playing with four different cheeses. We got our Monterey, mm -hmm. Oaxaca, Fresca, and Cotija. So Monterey being nice and gooey, uh, the Oaxaca more stringy, then the, the Fresca has like the cheese funk flavor in there, and then you got Cotija that adds that nice saltiness. Our guacamole, which we try to keep as simple as possible. Guacamole, a pinch of oregano, a pinch of onion, a pinch of serrano. That's it. We're not Let's messing with it. Keep it all natural. Else. Oh, yep. sorry. It's coming up on its last grill marks. Okay. I'm going to build the fajita right here. So I'm going to crank up the heat, bring the fajita over here. First, we're going to start with our peppers. Bring it here in the center. Get a nice little wreath right there. Going on a beautiful seasoned peppers. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to hit it with our onions right there in the center. So all the meat drippings drip right over the sweet onions there. Got it. Then we now take our carne it asada. Up. It's very important we cut against the grain here. Our carne asada is so tender, too. Man, that smells yeah. really good. Okay, we'll bring it over. We'll lay it on top here. Okay. This is our special house poblano butter. Okay. So, like garlic butter on a steak, poblano butter on our fajitas. Perfect. Okay. Toasted sesame seeds. Woo! Bam. A little unique flavor there. And of course, Fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. Look at the color on that. Right, bright and beautiful. And then literally, right as it goes out, it hits the plate in the window. Finish it off with a little bit of beer. What did the beer do to it, Chef? Uh, the beer is now helping uh, with, it, it's, it's basically creating steam and, and all the sugars inside of yeah, the, yeah. Um, inside the vegetables. It helps peel that off of the, off the cast iron and it just helps marry everything together. Nice. So you got the meat juices, you got the, the juices from the peppers and the onions, the oil bringing everything out, all the salt, and then the beer is just bringing everything together. And you get that beautiful, fuck, that, that beautiful smell of the fajita. Carne asada fajita. All right, you know what this means. Let's go back outside. We gotta try this. Ooh, let's take a look at this. Oh my right, God. So one. Sizzling fajita. Wow. You can smell that. Look Here at we that. Go again. Watch out. There we go. Wow. Woo. All right. So, All right. what do we have here? The fajitas. The fajitas. So, you're not a big, a big Mexican fan? Uh, you know what? When I first came out here, yeah. I wasn't, but. Um, for the past couple of years, I started eating a lot of uh, Mexican food because okay. the food is good. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Um, the, when I say Mexican food, right. I'm talking about Taco Bell. And so I went to Mexico one, one day, or one time, okay. and uh, I ate street food. Okay. And I realized how great the food was. Mm. So I realized when you eat, you know, Mexican food, yes. you've got to go to a place that's authentic. Yes. And that's the reason why we shot this video here today is because Absolutely. this is authentic. And as you know, as Asian people, we love things with a lot of flavor. And I think this is actually perfect because with a modern twist, yes. brings in the that flavor. Absolutely. So, you know, I am very excited to try this. I mean, this yes. thing looks good. I mean, should we just dig in? Or I mean, let's how does this in. work? Yeah, you know? absolutely, let's dig in. Okay, here you go. All right, thank you. All right, so let's try this. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how does this work? I'm a rookie at this, <laughs> okay? So we got a tortilla, right? We got a tortilla, so I'll okay. get one for you. Nice okay. and toasty. Get one for you, right here. Now, yes. from what I know, yes. what makes a good dish yes. is the tortilla. So I'm gonna try the tortilla first. Okay, sounds good. That's important, because that's okay. what really makes Mexican food. Right, okay. Rudy? Yes. Let me yeah, try this. let's go. Mm. 
Hey, Rudy. Good, ain't it? You got to try this. <laughs> we got to let Rudy try this. Yeah, of course. Laterica, you got to try this. Here. Yeah. Try this, Laterica. Try this, Rudy. The fajitas. Rudy. Nice and chewy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do I do here? So, basically, you take, you take, um, the One carnets, these. yep, okay. absolutely, and the onions. Okay. And then all these toppings. And just load it all on Load here. it all on in, yep, absolutely. Okay. Make sure you get some butter. You got some of the butter? Oh, you need the butter on yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. Make sure you get some of the butter. Okay. I'll just throw a little bit of butter on Perfect. here. Perfect. Now, typically, do you throw the cheese, all if this you on like, here? Yep, it's all okay. a preference. So if you like the cheese and the guac, sour cream. Yeah, I want flavor on here, mm -hmm. so we're, we're going to try this. <laughs> Look Let's at it, four it. different type of cheese, mm -hmm. Chef was saying. Yes. And I love cheese. Awesome. Uh, guacamole. Guacamole. Kept this authentic, like he was saying, just I believe what, uh, salt and something else, right Rudy? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Salt and some kind of butter. Okay. Now I believe this was that corn, right, or no? Was this that corn sauce? Maybe yeah. it's queso. Oh, all right. It's just queso, yeah. Queso, okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, do you normally uh, eat this off to the side? Is that how it works? Yeah, and you know, some people add it into their, you know, their okay. fajitas, but yeah, you could just have it as a side. Okay. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm a meat lover, so I'm going to go one more meat. Go for because it. Because that's what I do, okay? Wrap it up. Now I'm, I'm, Wrap it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wasn't hungry when I came here. Well, now you're hungry. I was actually a little bit grouchy because I was actually hungry, <laughs> but... Now you're getting happy. Yeah, and I'm getting happy. <laughs> now we're about to change this, so okay, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, lime. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a burst of flavor in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I mean, take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this side right here. Mm -hmm. you, you got the cream. You got the cilantro. Yeah. It's like salty, too. Um, you got that cilantro flavor. There's a lot, a lot of green in it. Mm -hmm. This is real good. Love the cream, the salt from the meat. It just blends it very well. And the um, this flour here is very chewy, mm -hmm. and I do like that. Mm -hmm. The chef was saying the beans was, I, I believe it was vegan or something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. I'm not a bean guy, but that has a lot of flavor in, mm -hmm. in it. I just hit the spot. Now this is that uh, the rice. Yes. Try some of this rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Mmm. You gotta try this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Airplane. Right there, try it. There you go. Mm. That is really good, nice. huh? Really nice. Rudy. Thank you. You gotta try this. <laughs> Airplane mode. Here okay. we go. Be oh. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh. Oh, sorry, Rudy. Oh, I dripped it all on you, Rudy. Here. That's not good. What do you think about that, Rudy? Mm. It's good. It's bomb, it's huh? Super good. Yeah. Taste the peppers in it. Dude, yeah. you have a burst in your mouth, but it's all different flavors. Yes. It, it doesn't lean, just only lean towards the sweet side. I mean, you have a little bit sweet. You have the sour, the salty. Mm -hmm. It's you have like everything all in your mouth, mm -hmm. and just like bursts. So I know that we got a couple more dishes coming, right? Yes, absolutely. What do you think about the presentation? Isn't it really nice? It's great. And yeah. I love the custom the custom board yes. that they made just for this. Just for this. And I like how when it comes out, it's basically it's searing, like smoking, like yes. it's crazy. All right, so what do we have here? All right, so we did the mocktail version of our pomegranate drink margarita mm -hmm. and our grapefruit margarita. Mm -hmm. And I do want to talk to you about this loteria that we have. Loteria. Yes, so it's Mexican bingo. And basically every cocktail has these cute cards. Okay. So you got the La Sierna right here. The La Sierna. Yes. And then what's this? El Sol. El Sol. Yes. Oh. So basically, it's a matching, and okay. it's like it's bingo, right? So when you get a, one across, you get a free dessert. You get these patterns. You get a free shareable, and then the whole card, you get a free entree. So you're gonna be drunk by the time. <laughs> is that the whole idea? Yeah, the whole idea is to obviously have our uh, customers come back. Okay. And we have a great local following, so mm -hmm. we have customers that would come, you know, three times a week. Okay. And they'll collect their cards. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah. you can literally take these home and you use take it, it for home. next time. Absolutely. Oh, I like that. So you don't have to do it in all in one shot. Oh, okay. Obviously, got if it. you like to, there's some customers that do. Okay. Right. If you're here for a bachelorette party mm -hmm. or a birthday celebration, all of you will, you know, order drinks, and people okay. do get a match. 
This is interesting. Yeah. This is a, um, a traditional game. Yes. And I've seen this before in the swap meets where I think they peel it off or collect the cards yes. or something, right? Yeah. I think this is a great concept. I yeah. do love that. Yeah. Good idea. Great idea. All right. So uh, obviously this is a virgin pomegranate, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Cheers. So let, let's try Salud. this. Salud. Okay. Yes. I'm going to try this. Let's do this. Okay. Mmm. Mm. This is up my alley right here. Sour, tangy, Probably fruity. Mm. I, that doesn't sound right. Okay. <laughs> but I do like this. Okay. Burst of flavor. This yes. is up my alley right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same for the grapefruit. Super I mean, refreshing. Look at the presentation yes. and the color on there. I mean, look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm taking this card home. Yes. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. It is. So obviously a lot of our customers, they love the Instagram, the yeah. photos. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Uh, they absolutely love the colorfulness of the restaurant. As you can see, we mm -hmm. have a lot of lights. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these decor came from uh, San Miguel in Mexico. Oh, really? So, all these lights came from Mexico, huh? Yes. Interesting. So, what's the whole idea yes. with the, uh, the skulls? Okay, so Day of the Dead. Okay. La Dia de Muerto. Di, so, Dia de, de Muerto. Muerto. Dia de Muerto. Muerto. <laughs> so, they celebrate, right? Yeah you know, the death. Okay. And, you know, there's a lot of obviously, you know, festivals that they, you know, do yeah. surrounding that celebration mm -hmm. of the death. So mm -hmm. they embrace it as yeah. a culture. And uh, I don't know, if, did we talk about happy hour? When is happy hour? Yes, happy hour, we have two happy hours. So we have from three to five o'clock. Okay. And then we have a reverse happy hour from 9 p.m. to close. All right. Sorry. All right. All right. So these are our two newest dishes that we just rolled out. Okay this month. We have, as one of our appetizers, our elote off the cob. Okay. Um, but we've taken a modern twist and we've added uh, jumbo lump crab on top of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's been like slowly kind of roasted so you got that sweet crab flavor and the sweet corn flavor. Nice. When we build this dish, we take that corn spoon that we yep. took earlier, give it a really nice good shake here. And we put it into our little dish here. Okay. And we just spoon it on top. You got double corn. You got corn in two different ways Ooh, here. Ooh, look at that. So that goes on top. I can smell it. it smells great. Oh, yeah. So what do we have here? These are our blue corn tortilla strips. Okay. So that's one of the new, unique things about Ola Modern Mexican is we use blue corn for okay. all of our tacos, our tostadas, and our garnishes like we have here. Okay. And then we top it off, of course, fresh cilantro. Nice. Look at that presentation on here. Look at that. Our crabby Beautiful. corn. Okay. Okay. And then the second dish as an entree that also goes with our corn espuma. We have dueling lobster tails, lobster de forcito. De forcito. Okay. We have one that's been seasoned with a more vegetal green salsa spice mm -hmm. and one with like a red deep chili kind of spice to it. And we have two different sauces that kind of duel against each other. So you get the best of both having like a red sauce and a green sauce. Yeah. And we serve it with another uh, lote off the cob that has chorizo and pico de gallo fresh flavors okay. in there. And then we top it off with our butter salsa sauce. So this is the salsa verde that's been mounted with butter. Look at that, nice. We pour it over the lobster Juicy. tail. Okay, a little bit more there. Super rich and flavorful. And this one, the red sauce. This has guajillos and anchos. So sweet, smoky flavors. Wow, look at that, guys. Look okay, the and then we finish it again. More sweet corn espuma. And of course, Fresh cilantro. Oh Boom. my gosh. Bon appetit. Look at this. What would you recommend to try first? Oh, man. I mean, let's start with the appetizer. I know you got two seafood things yep. both going at the same time. Okay. But starting with the appetizer and then finishing off with the lobster tail. All right. So we're going to put this off to the side. Okay. Rudy, you can't have none of this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from that. Look, it's, I already have my shovel ready to go. Ready to go. So. How do you eat this? Do you just eat it with the tortilla? Just yeah, I could put it put some on your plate. Okay, right here, yeah. perfect. There you go. So you could have all the 
All the, the good stuff? corn and the crab and then obviously this blue tortilla toppings too. Okay. Which is really interesting. Yeah, this is real good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So basically, this presentation is amazing. It's really nice. I'm just going to cut this piece off. Ooh. That one side. Okay. And I'm gonna cut this this one too. Yeah. So that was the the green the green side and this is the red side. Yep. Oh, you got it. Look at that. Mm. That's real good. <laughs> Let's go over this. What we have here. <laughs> wow. This this thing is interesting. Yes. Okay. So, chef, what do we have here? You're gonna have to speak just a little bit louder here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our deep fried strawberry ice cream that's been crusted in cornflakes and cinnamon, topped with a mango uh, salsa with a strawberry chamoy sauce, Ooh. whipped cream sprinkles, and then we threw in some extra little goodies in there. We got a little rainbow sour strip in there, yep. got a little marshmallow cookie, some mango chamoy strips in there, and then we wrap everything around with some strawberry whipped cream, um, strawberry frosting and uh, fruity pebbles. Fruity wow, pebbles. I love that Super chamoy. Ooh. In your face. Sunday. So let me ask you this. How'd you come up with this, Chef? This right here, I, I'm a firm believer that pressure makes diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> and the night that we opened, I pulled that out of my head and that was our Sunday. Oh, wow. wow. I knew that was that. My dad was like, I need something strawberry, something mango, something whimsical, something colorful. And wow. put it all together and that was it. We opened awesome. up the restaurant with this dish. Look at this. This is like a piece of artwork right here. You it don't is. even want to eat it. It is. It is. Right? And, Chef, what is it called? It is our Mucho Loco Sunday. Mucho, Mucho Loco, Loco Sunday. Sunday. Oh my gosh, that was so delicious. Awesome. I just want to say thank you so much You're welcome. for allowing us to come and explore this place. The food was amazing. So awesome. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And thank you so much for coming. And all of you watching, please come out to Southern Highlands and come see us at Ola. Can't wait to have you try all of our delicious modern mm -hmm. Mexican. And again, if you're new to our channel, please make sure you like, subscribe, and engage. We'd love to hear from you. And make sure you comment below and let us know what food item you'd like to try here at Ola. Wait, this is my show, not your show. Oh. <laughs>